Dear viewers, welcome to our channel GS Bank Record. Today I am going to discuss Government Sponsored Schemes Part 1. This, might, this discussion is very useful for JAB Principal and Practice of Banking, CAAB Retail Banking Optional Paper and Promotional Exams for All Scales. Now, first scheme is Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana PM JDY. For the object of this scheme is for increasing financial inclusion. The main objective for starting this scheme in is PMJDY is financial inclusion. This is a open ended scheme. This scheme is going to be implemented opening of accounts through branches and business correspondence. Business correspondence. Now, second point eligibility criteria individuals who hold Indian nationality. A minor who is above 10 years of age and low risk customers with valid documents can open the account. Existing accounts are also con converted to existing savings account also can be converted to PMG. For getting OD from the banks, age limit of the customer is minimum 18 and up to 65 years. Age limit for OD. How much OD they are eligible, what draft limit? Now they had increased the order of limit to 10,000. Out of 10,000, there will not be any condition attached to OD up to 2,000. So, without seeing anything in the account, 2,000 OD is going to be given. Remaining 8,000 rupees, there are some conditions are there. What are the conditions? Four times of average monthly balance in that account or 50% of credit submissions in account during the year. Whichever is lower, whichever is lower, they sit there. Conditions, over at more than 2000 rupees, above 2000, four times of average monthly balance or 50% of credit summits in the account during the year, whichever is lower. And the account holders are getting free accidental insurance cover is 2 lakh rupees. Free accidental insurance cover and the limit, OD limit is sanctioned for three years. Whatever the limits uh, banks are sanctioning, that is three years, but subject to review and renewal of every year. Review and renewal of every year. So, from these uh, seven points, uh, almost in all uh, examinations, uh, they are asking what is the age limit? 18 to 65. Power draft limit? 10,000. Up to 2,000, no conditions are attached. About 2,000, what are the conditions attached? Four times of monthly. Average monthly balance or 50% of credit submission in the account during the year, whichever is lower, that is the condition for overdraft for above 2000. Free accident insurance cover 2000, 2 lakh rupees for account holder. The limit sanctioned for 3 years but subject to review renewal of every year by the bank. So, this is the PMJDY. These questions are very, very important for all examinations. This is about PMJDY. PMEGP, second scheme, Prime Minister Employment Generation Program. Prime Minister Employment Generation Program. First loan, Prime Minister Employment Generation Program. First loan conditions. Qualifications for PMEGP, first loan qualification, at least 8 standard is required for a project cost above 10, 000, 10 lakh rupees for manufacturing sector. So, for any loan, about 10 lakhs for manufacturing, minimum qualification required is 8th standard and project cost of 5 lakhs, above 5 lakhs for business service also 8th standard. So, qualification required for 8th standard, a manufacturing sector loan about, about 10 lakhs and business sector above 5 lakhs, qualification required is 8th standard. Means, less than 10 lakhs for manufacturing sector, less than 5 lakhs for business sector, qualification is not required and uh, no collateral up to 10 lakhs. Under this scheme, no collateral required up to 10 lakhs. Any collateral requirement above 10 lakhs loan. This scheme is implemented through KVIC, Khadi and Village Industries Commission. This question also, implementing a, implementing agency is Khadi and Village Industries Commission. Because point number two. Point number three, maximum loan for manufacturing sector 25 lakhs. We can give under this scheme and business sector, business and service sector 10 lakhs. 
maximum loan in a in manufacturing sector 25 lakhs and in business and service sector rupees 10 lakhs this is the loan amount the margin for money for general category 10% of the project so this is also important question the margin requirement only for general category 10% of the project others there is no margin but only for general category margin is 10% of the project this is also one example subsidy subsidy as a percentage of project cost they are giving no ceiling on amount of subsidy there is no ceiling on the amount of subsidy but ceiling is only on the loan amount only. now category rural area and other areas for general category in rural area 25 percent of the project cost they will get for general category rural area 25 percent of the project cost for general category other areas 15 percent so once again general category rural areas 25 percent of project cost other areas 15 percent for other categories, special categories, rural area subsidy 35 percent of project cost, other area 25 percent. Special categories, rural area subsidy 35 percent of project cost, other area 25 percent. This is the guidelines for first loan. First loan PME GP. Now second loan also. After closing of the first loan, second loan also eligible by the borrower. Second loan, this is the second loan, PMEGP. The circular dated 21st May 2018. PMEGP, second loan conditions, KVIC circular. What are the conditions for the second loan? First loan should be closed. After closing of the first loan, the party is eligible for the second loan. That is there. Second loan should lead to additional employment. Whatever the employment is there under first loan, if you are going to give second loan, it will create additional employment, second loan. Third, unit must be profit making from the last three years. Any party asking the second loan, uh, the unit must be profit making from the last three years. And the fourth one is, Udyogadar number is mandatory. Registration of Udyogadar number is mandatory. This is the conditions for the second loan under PMAGP. This question, they are asking repeatedly, repeatedly they are asking. Seven. Seventh point. Beneficiary may apply to the same second loan. The part team may apply for the first financing bank, which is provided the first loan, or to any other bank also. There is no condition whether you have to avail from which bank. Huh? As for his interest, whether he can take from the first financing bank or any other second from any other bank also, second loan, no conditions. And A, for manufacturing units, under second loan, party is eligible for 1 crore. For manufacturing units, financial bank loan can be allowed up to 1 crore. It is subsidy of 15%. Subsidy in normal areas, 15%. Under northeastern and hilly areas, 20%. Second loan for manufacturing units, financial assistance up to 1 crore. With a subsidy of 15% in normal areas, 20% for northeastern hill states. So, second loan also, party will get subsidy. For service sector or trading units, financial assistance up to 25 lakhs, you will get under second loan. Would be provided a subsidy of 3.75 lakhs, means 15% normally, and northeastern hill areas, 20% that you will get. Same manner. So, for manufacturing sector, second loan is 1 crore. For service or trading sector, 25 lakhs. Subsidy is 15 percent normal areas and northeastern hilly areas 20 percent. These are the conditions. And beneficiary contribution is 10 percent in all categories. This is the change. In the first loan, this contribution is margin is 10 percent only general category. In this case, 10 percent is for all categories. This is the. This loan, second loan is also covered under Great Guarantee Trust for Micro and Small Enterprises covered under CGT MSC. So, this is the second loan conditions. These are the conditions for the second loan. Negative list. 
of activities under PMAGP. The following list of activities will not be permitted under PMAGP for setting up micro enterprises project units. The following list of under PMAGP for this following activities banks are not allowed to finance. A. Eighth point A sub point. Any industry business connected with the meat slaughtering, processing, canning and servicing item. So any activity business related to meat, meat slaughtering, processing, canning and serving, items made of food, production, manufacturing, all. This is the, the first item. Second item, second point. Any industry business connected with cultivation of crops, plantations like tea, coffee, rubber, etc. So, this scheme is not eligible for cultivation of crops, plantation like tea, coffee, rubber, etc. and sericulture also. Sericulture, horticulture, floriculture. So, cultivation of crops, PMEGP scheme is not eligible for finance. Third point, manufacturing of polythene carry bags of less than 20 microns. So, this is the National object, manufacturing of polythene carry bags less than 20 micron thickness and ma manufacturing of carry bags contains a recycling plastic. So, any manufacturing of uh, carry bags with polythene less than 20 micron thickness, under this scheme, banks are not allowed to finance. Fourth point, industries such as processing of Pashimana wool. Industries such as processing of Pashmana wool and such other products like hand spinning and hand waving, taking advantage of a Kadi program are also not allowed. So, industries related to processing of Pashmana wool also not covered under PMAGP loans. Industries such as processing of Pashmana wool. Rural transportation. Rural transport also not covered under PMAGP. Except auto rickshaw in Andaman, Nicobar Islands, houseboat, Sikara and tourist boats in JK and cycle rickshaws. So normally rural transport is also known. This question already they had asked in one or two examinations. So the following list of activities will not be permitted under PMGP. One is meat slaughtering. Any industry business connected with the cultivation of cross plantations. Manufacturing of polythene carry bags less than 20 microns. Industries such as processing of related to Pashmana wool and rural transportation. These are the units not covered, not allowed to finance under PMEGP. This is the second PMEGP is over. And this Dinadayal Antojaya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission. This scheme is very very important and most to most important for all banks, for all like JAB, CAAB, promotional exam, for all scales also. Compulsory 1, 2 or sometimes they are going to give 3 questions also from day NRLM. Dinadayal Antyodaya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission. This scheme is implemented by Ministry of Rural Life. Whatever the important points are there, I am going to discuss under this scheme. Day NRLM. NRLM implemented by Ministry of Rural Development. This is one point. What is the object of NRLM object? It aims to elevate rural property. Means elevate means to remove the rural property and create sustainable like, like livelihood opportunities. Means rural property removal and create sustainable livelihood opportunities for the rural people. This is the objective of the NRLM. Funding pattern. This is a central sponsored scheme. The NRLM is a central sponsored scheme. 60 percent of the funds are going to be contributed by central government. 40 percent by state government. 60 40. 60 percent central government, 40 percent state government. In the northeastern states, Sikkim, and union territories, 90% is central government, 10% is state government. This is also various banks examination question. So funding pattern 60-40 normally, northeastern states and union territories 90 is to 10. Women self-help groups, minimum members 10 to 20. 
this is a financing for women self help groups minimum member 10 to 20 members 10 to 20 minimum 5 persons are group in remote tribal areas at least minimum in tribal remote areas 5 persons are required fourth point this is very very important out of the total beneficiaries 50 percent of beneficiaries belong to sc and st 50 percent of the beneficiaries are st and st 1 5 15 percent are minority communities and 3 persons are 3 persons are 3 percent are persons with disability so percentage is a very important 50 percent of beneficiaries from scst 15 percent from minority communities 3 percent for disability and uh, while making the formulation of plans 100 percent of coverage from bpl below poverty line it has to cover 100 percent from below poverty line whatever the percentages are there these percentage people community comes from below poverty line so 50 percent of beneficiaries are scst 15 percent are from minority 3 percent are with disability this is about the nrlm no collateral no margin no capital surplus loan up to 10 lakhs no collateral no margin please no collateral no margin no capital subsidy up to 10 lakhs this is exam question member lending initiation would now allow to cover sag in the loan bracket of 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs there by providing greater scope and coverage of the implementation of this scheme this is National Credit Guarantee Trust for this 249 2020 guidelines are there, but whether it is implemented or not, respective banks has to. But this is the guidelines of central government. Member lending institution should now above able to cover SSG in the loan bracket of 10 to 20 lakhs. Guidelines are there 249 2020. But as for RBI circular, that is there 10 lakhs is there. No collateral, no margin, no capital subsidy 10 lakhs. Revolving fund, since there is no capital subsidy for each group as a one-time measure they are giving based on satisfa satisfactory operations and uh, corpus fund. Minimum 10,000 one-time revolving fund they are giving, maximum 15,000. Minimum 10,000 and maximum 15,000 for each group revolving fund. This is also support by the government. Interest subvention, seventh point, interest subvention. Normally, rate of interest is 7 percent up to loan 3 lakh rupees. Up to 3 lakhs in through 250 identified districts, up to 3 lakhs loan 7 percent only. Remaining amount is going to be claimed from central government. That is so. Bank has to sanction rate of, bank has to charge rate of interest 7 percent up to 3 lakhs in 250 identified districts. In this account, they are getting additional interest subvention of 3 percent on prompt repayment. So, prompt repayment they are getting 3 percent up to 3 lakhs. So, effective rate of interest is 4 percent because 7 percent is rate of interest sanction minus 3 percent for prompt repayment. Effective rate of interest 4 percent up to 3 lakhs in 250 identified districts. This is also exam question. And eighth question, the eligibility criteria for a HJG to a balance. What are the eligibility criteria? The self-help group should be in an active existence. So, the group must be in an active existence at least last six months. At least since last six months as per the books of account. So, SHG existence you have to verify as per books of accounts, not from the date of opening. This question also they are asking. In, uh, what basis for the verification of existence of uh, SAG? Based on books of account. Books of account. SAG would be in active existence at least since last six months. Uh, not from the date of opening of the SB account, savings account. This is the, this. Question, point number nine. The existing defunct SAG are also eligible for credit if they are revived. Once the account was opened, there was no operation, the account has gone to defunct portion. Now, that group want to loan, they have to, first from defunct SSG to, they have to revive that account. 
after revival, after completion from the date of revival, three months they have to wait. If they are revived and continue to be active at least for three months, for a minimum period of three months, then they will get a loan. This is also examination question. Now, this is most most important point. SSG should be practicing Pancha Sutras. Pancha Sutras. What are the Pancha Sutras? Five principles. Regular meeting. SSG should be practicing Pancha Sutra. This is the uh, backbone for SSGs. Regular meeting. They have to conduct regular meetings. They have to regularly collect the savings and deposit in the bank account. Regular savings. And uh, regular interloaning. Among the group members, they, they, they regularly they have to give loan one member to another member. Interloaning. Group is going to give loans to various persons. That is called interloaning. And this is the timely repayment. Whatever the loans they are taken in the group interloaning, timely they have to repay. Then only SSG will survive. And up to date maintenance of books. Up to date maintenance of books. These are the five pancha sutras, five principles for SSG. One is regular meeting, regular savings, regular interloaning, timely repayment, updated books of accounts. They are asking what are the pancha sutras. Based on pancha sutras only, principles only, the SSG is going to be grading, SSG grading. If the SSG is grading based on pancha sutras, if it is getting more than 90, A grade. More than 90, A grade. 75 to less than 90 percent of marks be great. 75 percent of marks to less than 90 be great. 60 percent to less than 75 percent of marks C grade, C grade. Minimum grading required for bank loan is C. Minimum grading. Now, who will do the grading? Now, they, you see all the questions they are asked in various bank examinations and CAB also. Now, Qualified as for grading nouns. Fix, these are the nouns fixed by NABAD. Nouns fixed by NABAD. As and when the federations of the SSG come into existence, the grading exercise may be done by the federation of the NABAD to support the banks. This exercise grading done by the federations of the NABAD to support the banks. So, this is very, very useful. Grading more than 90 marks, A grade. 75 to 90 percentage of marks, B grade. 60 to less than 75 is C grade. The grading is going to be awarded based on Pancha Sutras. Regular meeting, regular saving, regular interloaning, timely repayment update. So, so this 10th point is very, very important for SSGs. Now, 12th point, purpose of loan is also very important. Now, earlier there are no purposes. Now, now, the government is also uh, want to give some productive purposes in order to facilitate use of loans for enhancing, enhancing livelihood of SSG. Means they have to provide livelihood, not consumption purpose. So, to enhance the livelihood and to discourage the consumption of SSG members, it is advised that at least 50% of loans above 2 lakhs, it will go to production purpose. 50% of loans above 2 lakhs production purpose, 75% of loans above 4 lakhs productive purpose, and at least 85% of loans above 6 lakhs should be used, should be go, go for productive purpose, income generating productive purpose. What is the use of this? If they are using for consumption, it is, it is not going to generate any income. If they are using for income generation purpose, it is going to enhance the livelihood of SSG members in areas, rural areas. That's why at least 50% of loans above 2 lakhs, it will go to income generating productive purpose. 75% of loans above 4 lakhs should go to income generating productive purpose. And at least 85% of loans above 6 lakhs should go to income generating productive purpose. This question is very, very useful and important. Micro credit plan prepared by SAGs also purpose and usage they have to mention in the micro credit plan what is the purpose and what is the usage of loan they have to mention already this question was asked in examination i have noted only several almost all the questions which you are discussing almost exam questions only 
the loan amount second point the loan amount would be distributed among SSG members based on the micro credit plan prepared by SSGs. The loan may be used by members to meeting social needs also. High cost debt swapping means for repayment of high cost loan taken from others. Construction or repair of houses. Construction of toilets taking up sustainable livelihood by the individual. This is important. Taking up sustainable livelihood by the individual members within the SSG or to finance any viable common activity. Now in the villages they are starting so many viable common activities under income generating products. So part of the amount they can use for social needs, debt swapping, construction repair of house, construction of toilets. But also they have to use sustainable livelihood by the individual members and finance for common viable activity. So, this, both the purpose of loan is also very very important as of now. Now, loan amount, day NRLM, loan amount in term loan and cash credit limit. Under day NRLM, banks are allowed to give loan in the form of term loan or cash credit based on their interest, SSG interest. So, first we will discuss the term loan. Term loan. Term loan amount repayment schedule. If you are giving a term loan, definitely there must be a repayment schedule. That's why first we are discussing term loan. If first time we are giving first dose loan, first dose, first time first dose, six times of their existing corpus outstanding in, in their SB account, savings account or minimum one lakh, whichever is high. Six times of their corpus or minimum one lakh, whichever is higher, first dose term loan. The repayment schedule is 24 to 36 months. First dose loan repayment is 24 to 36 months. This is about the first loan. Six times of corpus or one lakh, whichever is higher. Repayment of first loan is dose 24 to 36 months. Second dose loan, second dose. After completion of closure of first dose, they are eligible for second dose. Second dose, eight times of existing corpus are in that account or minimum two lakhs. For the second dose, the SSG account group members are eligible for eight times of their corpus or minimum two lakhs, whichever is higher, whichever is higher. The repayment period of the second dose loan is 36 to 48 months. Repayment schedule is 36 to 48 months. Second dose repayment. Then third dose. After repayment of or closure of second loan, they are eligible for third dose. Third dose, minimum 6 lakhs. There no corpus, link, not car, linked with corpus. Minimum 6 lakhs we can give based on micro credit plan prepared by the self-help groups. Based on micro credit plan, minimum 6 lakhs. There is no cap for the maximum. Minimum 6 lakhs, 33. Repayment period is 48 to 60 months. For third dose loan, repayment is 48 months to 60 months. Based on cash flow generation. So, third dose loan, we can give minimum 6 lakhs. Repayment period is 48 months to 60 months. Fourth dose, after completion or closure of third dose, they are eligible fourth dose onwards. Above 6 lakhs, here yeah, third dose minimum 6 lakhs, under fourth dose they are eligible above four, 6 lakhs based on micro credit plan. So, above and repayment period is 60 to 84 months. Repayment period is 60 to 84 months. This is the term loan sanction to the NRL MSG and its repayment. If you are sanctioning, these conditions will applicable. Otherwise, if you are sanctioning cash credit limits, these conditions are applicable. If you are giving cash credit, drawing power. Even. Drawing power means allowing operations in the account. So, DP means drawing power for first year is same. Six times of the existing corpus or minimum one lakh, whichever is higher. In the cash credit, Repayment is not there. Remaining both are same. First dose, DP for first year. Amount is same. 
six times of the existing corpus or minimum one lakh, whichever is high. First dose. Second dose. Second dose. So, sorry, second year. First year, you can give six times or existing corpus or minimum one lakh. Second year, second year onwards, we can increase the drawing for eight times of corpus power, corpus amount or minimum two lakhs, whichever is low. For the second year onwards, drawing for we can allow in this account eight times of the corpus at the time of review announcement outstanding in the account or minimum two lakhs, whichever is higher, we can allow during the entire second year. That is called drawing power. Third year. After completion of second year, DP drawing power for third year minimum six lakhs, minimum six lakhs based on the micro credit plan. Based on micro credit plan, uh, third year we can allow DP minimum six lakhs. This is the fourth year onwards DP for fourth year, fourth year above six lakhs. Here above six lakhs. Here also above six lakhs based on the Micro credit plan prepared by SHG, self help group, and appraised by the federation means no bot related units, support agency, and the previous credit. So, at the time of giving, appraisal by the federation, support agency, and the previous credit ratio, we can say. So, this is the cash credit limit drawing for first year, DP for first year, six times of corpus or minimum one lakh, whichever is higher. DP for the second year, eight times of corpus or minimum two lakhs, whichever is higher. DP for the third year, minimum six lakhs based on micro credit plan. Fourth year DP above above six lakhs based on micro credit plan and appraised by the federation. Dear viewers, these are whatever we are discussed. These are very very important points that too from the examination point of only we are discussing. Thank you very much for all for being our channel and giving support to our channel. Thank you very much for all.